Today for the field training, we are here with uh, True Armor in Grays Lake, Illinois. They do upfitting for ballistic protection for vehicles. We've got their demo truck here. This is actually an armored vehicle, and they're getting into the law enforcement armoring market. So traditionally with law enforcement, we don't armor squad car windshields, doors, side windows, and the reason for that is it's very expensive. It doesn't transfer between vehicles, and it's heavy because most people are trying to get to a level of performance that makes the vehicle heavy. It makes it difficult to drive because you can't see as well out of the windshield or the side windows. A True Armor is offering an application that is way more affordable than a traditional armored vehicle and can transfer between cars and uses a lot of OEM equipment. So you were telling me off camera, Alex, that this all fits into the standard door. So if I get an armored window and door panels in a squad car, let's say we're taking a Ford Explorer and we're upfitting it and we want protection from this angle from handgun rounds, you can put a window in my existing car without having to put new tracks and motors and everything else and that really cuts costs and makes it easier to transfer from car to car. Can you show everybody what it is you were talking about? Absolutely. So traditionally you have to tear the vehicle apart to put the armor in and bring it up to those capabilities. With us, it's all being swapped out with OEM replacement parts meaning there's no re retrofitting or modifications needed. We can take your existing windshield, swap it out, as simple as a traditional window when it gets broken, and put ours in. This is a DOT double stamped, certified NIJ2 window. So your traditional 9, 40, 45. We can bring those capabilities up if that's something you're looking for. And just like the, the demo we did with your clear armor, your flat pan gas glass, you said you guys can apply to the windshield the same technology where if I'm taking, if I'm in the car and I'm taking rounds, it can stop the rounds coming in. But if I fire back through the windshield, it's going to operate more or less like a traditional windshield. That first round is going to break a hole through and then I can fire through that hole after that. Absolutely. As long as you're using the same round or stronger that we're protecting against. So a level two like that, if so I'm taking rounds from your traditional level two threat, your 940-45, if I've got my nine millimeter Glock 17 and I'm firing back out through the windshield, I can fire back out through the windshield using that. Yes. My duty ammo with my duty pistol. Yes. Traditionally, you don't have the option to pick and choose what you want armored on a vehicle. With us, you have the ability to break it down to a single window or the entire vehicle, giving law enforcement the ability to go, I can't afford to do an entire fleet of vehicles traditionally. But what I can do is I can come in and I can offer a windshield and a driver window or windshield driver and passenger windows and doors giving them the ability to go, okay, instead of doing a single vehicle, we can now do the entire fleet with a windshield, side door, whatever your combination you're looking for. And you told me those windows, the armored windows, in most applications, you can make them to roll all the way up and all the way down. You're not getting the three inches and then a three inch thick piece of glass that doesn't make it all the way down. It'll operate like a normal window, so you can use drive-throughs, talk to people through the window, things like that. Absolutely, it doesn't change your normal life. You're able to use this product like you would in any other application, not knowing it's there. And because we've got, we can pick and choose kind of a la carte, the level of protection and where we want that protection, we're not paying $100,000, $150,000 to have a battery armored and a computer armored on the car and a bulkhead in the back of the vehicle. And that's also saving us a lot of weight. So about what is, to the traditional setup for a squad car where you're doing a front windshield, a door, and two side windows to give us that, that wall of protection that we can get if we've got a barricaded gunman or a felony stop where we're going to pull like our armored vehicle up in front to do that felony stop or that barricaded gunman until we can get the SWAT team out. How much is that going to cost on, say, like a Ford Explorer? About What are you talking about? Well, the nice thing is because they have the option to pick and choose, it can be something as simple as a couple thousand dollars. A, a door a paneling and the door glass could be as, as little as $2,500. A complete setup could be between twelve dollars to $15,000. But twelve dollars to $15,000 in comparison with a $100,000 full outfit to get a Ford Explorer or a Chevy Tahoe that's 3A rated all the way around. Absolutely. And the nice thing is because this is all OEM direct fitment, we can ship it straight to you and you can install it yourself. So you're not worrying about the downtime that you would have shipping it out to an upfitter. That could be six to eight weeks. This can be installed in-house and down the road you go. So essentially, if there ever is an issue and the product is used, you can take it back to command, swap it out, and back out on the same shift. 
And you guys offer a, a line of duty use warranty on this? Like if this gets shot, you guys will replace it? Absolutely, yes sir. And the warranty is on our website. So what's the total weight that we're looking at? Let's say we did the, the traditional, like we were talking before, two doors, two side windows, and a windshield. How much weight are you adding to the car by doing that? So traditionally, depending on the make and model of the vehicle, the size of glass varies when it comes to the weight. So your traditional Tahoe Suburban, we add anywhere between your 28 to 32 pounds. And when it comes to the door paneling, one of the cool things is a lot of companies have a little drop in that only covers up to the crash bar. We're covering the entirety of the door in two to three pieces. Now, with that, we're anywhere between a pound to a little over a pound per square foot, depending on the protection you're going against, covering the entirety traditional nine square feet of the door. Okay, so full up, we're looking at what, adding an extra, it's like driving around with an extra person in the car. Absolutely. Essentially. essentially, you're looking at adding another officer to the car. So this vehicle with the windshield, all windows, 360 coverage on the panels, we're looking at about 380 pounds added to the vehicle. So doing the, basically the entire passenger compartment from all common angles you did be, have a threat from with common handgun rounds, it's like putting two dudes in the, in the back seat. Absolutely, and one of the cool things with that is now you get the full warranty of the vehicle. Traditionally, you add six, seven thousand pounds to the vehicle. Oh, I never thought about that. Yeah, all your your suspension components and all that Absolutely. are still covered because you're within the gross vehicle weight that it was spec for. Absolutely, nice. And because it's OEM fitment, you can drive this vehicle for three to five years, and you decide you want to upgrade to a new vehicle. As long as it's same make and model, all this is transferable. So you can get the full use of the vehicle transfer the armor to the next vehicle and to continue that use of the product. Or if my police department buys this for the supervisor truck and then somebody runs it into a pole or it gets used to block somebody in, gets all crash bang boomed up, we can have our own mechanics take the components that you have out of the one 2022 Ford Explorer and load it into another 2022 Ford Explorer. So we're now not out that vehicle plus the armor. Absolutely. That's awesome. All right. so. We're going to show the demo of how your uh, your one-way ballistic glass works. What do we expect to see with that demo? First, you're going to see us shoot at the glass. You're going to see us stop that round. But before we do that, we're going to roll the window all the way up and down so you understand that it works not only in the original frame, but it does roll all the way up and down. So just like the Jeep we showed you over there, this is all OEM fitment, meaning it goes in your original channels with the original motor and rails and rolls all the way up and all the way down. Can we see that it rolls up and down? I know you guys have this plugged in. Right, so from inside the car, I can use it like any other vehicle in my fleet. Ready? Going hot? Here you go, you wanna see a you want to do a video picture of it? Turn it around in your hand. All right, so show me how this is constructed on the inside. Well, they only go from here to here. We go side to side, top to bottom, and then they, they, they layer over the handle on the inside piece that covers here. Yeah, Alex was telling me about this. He said, you guys, you can go edge to edge and then there's a, like a guard that you can get up yeah. here so you're not getting stuff come through your, so at your me, head for the side. Yeah, so let me show you this over here. But, but this is interesting. It's like people would think when you say there's multiple pieces that there's going to be gaps, no, right? Because that's the way cheap manufacturing is done, right? There's always a gap and you've got a significant amount of overlap in there. And then okay. you're saying there's another panel that goes behind this yep, so that way all your mechanisms will work, yep. but you're still protected through yep. it. So if you look at this, That's been your free field training for today. While you're here, uh, check out one of the other videos that we made or down here, subscribe so you can see more. Or you could check out Patreon where you can see how you can get your name put on the videos like all these fine folks over here. I'll see you guys next time.